Uh, objective, speak with the bullied merchant. Ms. Mrs. James. Ooh, karma. I cannot thank you enough. Mrs. James, I hate to see such bloodshed, but those men would not take no for an answer. We simply want to make our way in the world. Shepper holds out a few million. Please, it's the least we can do. Should I take it? Uh, or I also can say, keep it, you need it more than I do. Are we going for dickish good guy, or...? Yeah, let them keep it. It's probably not much anyway. Yeah. Alrighty. Now? So there was nothing that said anything about alignment, nothing about... Oh, no, there's no, there's no, like, uh, there's no, like, mechanics of that nature in this. Okay. So do you know if there's, like, a direct benefit to not taking it? I'm not sure if there is or not, actually. It might just be, like, a, like a role-playing thing. I find that interesting. There's very, very few... Games uh, that do don't have some sort of mechanical reinforcement for... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, did you ever play Knights of the Old Republic 2? Yes. Do you remember the, uh, Dan Twain? Uh, when there's the war between the settlers and the mercenaries? I didn't finish it. Okay. Why? What happens on Dan Twain? So on, on Dan Twain, there's the settlers who are just trying to rehabitat Dan Twain after it got blown up. And the mercenaries who currently protect the settlers, who want to keep it this, like, this hierarchy where the mercenaries get a bunch of money and the settlers have to scrap by. Okay. And eventually the settlers rise up and fight off the corrupt mercenaries. Uh, if you side with the settlers, the mayor wants to give you some money and thanks uh, for helping her out. And, you know, there's the I'll take it, I won't take it options. But there's a third that says, no, keep the money for yourself, but, in, but use it to build a statue in my honor. <laughs> And if you choose that one, the mayor's like, uh, okay, sure. That's funny. And you don't get the money, and you don't get, like, any alignment points, but I always choose that one just because it's so... Uh, it's very rare you get um, role-playing options. In <laughs> yeah, where you're... There's no in-game reward, but if you want to just be that kind of guy, yeah. <laughs> Alright, someone named Sarah... Her clothes may be dirt and dirty, but this woman is far from downtrodden. Hey, not that it's my business, but I wouldn't go that way. Why? What's going on? Just some Halloweeners stirring up trouble again, she points to the south. They rode in this morning on those fancy bikes, set up camp in the old street market. They've been marching up and down the street all day, shaking down anyone that wanders past. Jake Armitage. Typical. Well, those are the odds are those are the guys we after. The guys we're after. Anything else I should know about these gangers? Well, their leader's a big troll named John Paul. Real piece of work, even for a wiener. See, I told you that's a bad idea. Halloweeners is a bad idea for a gang name, because then people are going to call you that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yep, that's him. Jake checks his pistol. Seems like a friendly bunch. Are you going to be safe out here? She laughs. You think I'm dumb enough to get caught out in the open by one of these assholes? No, I know these streets like the back of my hand. Worry about your own skin. Going to be in for a rude surprise. You might want to clear up before the shooting starts. She looks you over, then nods. Don't need to worry about me. I know how to lay low. They're a tough bunch, though. Don't say I don't didn't warn you. Also, you see that uh, dan that graffiti that says dandelion eaters? Yeah. That's like that is a racial slur for elves. Because they don't eat meat. Or I don't know. I'm not sure if they actually don't eat meat or not, or if they just eat. But they I, are not, but they're associated with, you know, vegetation and whatnot. I'm not sure if they're actually vegetarians. I need to look that up. Someone named Vlad. As you approach, the man sizes you up. You can see the age-old fight-or-flight equation running behind his drug-clouded eyes. Beneath the track marks on his arms, you spot a set of tattoos that indicate that he is, or at least once was, a shaman. Hey, man, are you okay? Yes, no, yes. No, I saw something. It's going to kill me. Calm down. I'm Flandry. That'll put him in... That, that'll put him... Calm down. I'm Look, Flandry. Everyone's just... I'm Flandry, okay? I, I'm gonna try that next time I just run into someone who's really freaked out and upset. <laughs> sir! Sir, please! My child is bleeding! I need... Anything. Calm down. I'm Flandry. <laughs> or, I'm Markley. 
<laughs> Put them at ease, you know. All right. What's your name? My name is... My name is Vlad. Vlad, those are some nice tattoos. You a shaman? The word shaman strikes a chord. He seems to shake off some of the mental cobwebs. Yes. Yes, I am a shaman. I thought so, Vlad. What did you see? See. Yes, I saw something. The other night I saw a spirit so dark, so alien, that Vlad trails off and shudders. Where did you see this spirit? Just across the street from the seamstress's union. <laughs> what are your options is... I'm... I'm done here. Good luck with that sanity thing. <laughs> but but I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say, it's gone now, Vlad. It's not going to kill you. You're safe. So thank you. I think you're right. I feel better now. More whole. Now, I think I need some sleep. I think... Now, now that I'm playing through this game again, I think this, that's actually a bit of foreshadowing. Mm. Good luck with that sanity thing. Yeah, I appreciate any game that lets you be snarky without making you evil for being snarky. Yeah. Just some guy, just don't hurt me. She has a pretty... Alright. Uh-oh. Big jack-o'-lantern on the ground. Some sort of... tree-covered... These things appear to have... What is that, Japanese? I think that's Japanese. Yeah, those are the wishes. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Is that a Japanese thing? Yep. Oh, okay. If, I don't know if you do it all year, but you're supposed to do it when uh, the tree blooms. But, okay. you know, we're in radioactive Seattle. That tree might not ever bloom. Halloweener Sentry. Hey, asswipes, take another step forward and we're going to plant you right here. This is Halloweener property now. Jake Armitage. This is one of the two that got away. If I had missed my shot, these idiots would have given up and moved on by now. Wait a minute. You're rolling with Jake? Bad idea, Chummer. Chummer's equipment is roughly like, you know, buddy or... Guy or whatever, you know. Just like a general term. Or do. Yeah. yeah. The Halloweeners are collecting that bounty. And killing you? Well, that'll be a nice bonus. Uh oh. Oh, they cast aim, the aim spell. Ow! I got critical hit in the face! That's 12, I lost 12 hit points! My first order of business Jake, have, that, have Jake heal back. My body is, I think, three, so that's almost half my. He said, heals all the damage from the most recent attack, so this will bring me back up to full. I can use it right about now. I get the horror imagery, but like you said, it's just a bad name, Wiener. Yeah. It and, really is. Uh, pumpkin is not necessarily a. Uh, most terrifying of images. Gang sign to rally it, behind. Yeah, it's. They didn't really. They didn't really think it through, I think. <laughs> okay, now let's see what to do. I don't really want to be out, standing out in the open exposed like this. Let's get over. Well, I don't want to get pummeled by that guy with that guy's bad either. Can't head over. Although actually, wait, I forgot about it. Go, my metal companion! Alright. Oh! And he's dead! Nice. Yeah, this drone is paying off! Now, I'm gonna move to cover. Oh, sir, you might want to move out of the, uh, out of the immediate vicinity. Ow! Luckily, that was a weak hit. Okay, now, wait, let's see here. Rifle. Okay, they're both still in my line of fire. Well, this isn't really, yeah, this isn't really Okay. What if Jake can do from this right distance? Oh, wow, Jake actually has a nine. Oh, well, okay, well, he's using aim shot, but still. Oh, even without aim shot, Jake has a 99% hit chance on this Halloween or Sentry. Oh, nice. Only 65 and... Let's see what this... Oh, no, see this? Notice it says minus 20 HP to cast. Uh -huh. Each spell has like a cooldown time before you can use it again, and uh -huh. you can use it. You can use it again faster than that, but it drains your your HP. It like sucks the vitality out of you. Oh. Uh -huh. I believe there's there's a mechanic along those lines in the tabletop game. I believe where you can sort of 
like use more magic power than you normally would be use more magic than you would normally be able to but like it, it, it physically can tax you and potentially kill you hurt you let's see hit him with some flames and hold up this down he goes oh another critical hit down he goes yeah because both critical hits and um like and you know weak hits are both both fairly common which I like because it makes the combat a little more unpredictable. Yeah. Ooh, 10 damage. Now. Alright, Johnny Five, it's up to you. Wait, let me zoom in here. She looks like she's wearing. Kind of looks like she's wearing, like. Like a combination of, like, golf pants and bell bottoms. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it on your end, but. I can kind of see it. Alright. That was a lucky shot. You're dead, Jake! Dead! Uh oh. Oh, it's John Paul! And he's right next to me with a giant sword! Now, now melee weapons, cool thing about melee weapons, and also barehanded attacks, is that you can move and attack with one action point. Basically, right. if a guy is if a guy is within your the range that you can move with an action point, one action point. You can move to him and hit him. So, is there like a, a? Are you able to, like, be like a martial arts fighter? Yeah, that's kind of what those physical adepts are. Mm. Although you can sort of do it as like a street samurai too, and carry like a sword or a machete or whatever. But yeah, it's kind of the physical adepts. That's kind of their thing, is they fight with melee weapons or with their bare hands. Like I said, they're the, they're the magic cyberpunk ninjas. Right. Oh, weak. Five damage. Oh, weak again. He must... Well, he probably, he probably has a good body score or something. Oh, I got my that flame spell available again. Let's see if I can set, set this guy on fire. You can't, oh, you can't do it with a flame spell, but there, you can literally set people on fire as like a status effect with certain things. John Paul. Whoa, uncle, uncle, I was just playing with you. I'll call off the rest of the Halloweeners, Jake. Call it even, yeah? Sure. What do you think, Jake? Dirtbags like you don't need second chances, or then lower your weapon and walk away. Let's ask Jake. He smirks. Hey, I'm already at shoot on st sight status with these guys. Killing John Paul means one less wiener to shoot me in the back while I'm buying smokes. Hell, they'll be doing the same to you as soon as there's a profit in it. Which is our... Yep. You, could, you, get, you do have an option. I want him to tell his friends what happened here. I don't know what that does, if anything. No. Let's finish this. <laughs> oh, Drek. No, John Paul. I expect you to die. We'll just have to imagine the fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah, he's almost down. I'm just gonna, like, do him execution style with an assault rifle, apparently. <laughs> well, that solves that problem. And... Now we just go back to wander free romp wandering mode. They still use motorcycles. Yeah. Also, I like, I like, the, I like, I like the details on the, uh... Like on the stores and the buildings and such. Like the signs are actually legible. There's a store called Holy Smokes. Which, actually I believe it's, actually I, from that sign I think it may be a strip club. Best beer, soy calf. Well, there's a seamstress's union. That's a club, apparently. That you do, you actually do learn the story behind that name. So, soy calf, tail and ale. Might be a sushi bar. Could be. Oh, it's got like a neon sign of like a guy fishing. What? No, maybe it's just like a pub. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit picked daily. From where? I have to ask. That's what I was gonna say. And there's another place. Seattle like, is not that far from some nice places, but. Well, they're not. They're nice now. 
I, yeah. They might not be so nice in 2054, <laughs> after Vitus has killed a, an eighth of the human race. I mean, a fourth of the human race, and one in every ten person is an orc. <laughs>